Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about governance malformation imaging. Terminology, it's benign vascular lesion with the dilated sign nasoid line by seeing immature walls and containing blood products of various age. Most common sign symptom identifies in totally 40 to 50%, seizure 20 to 25%. Supratentrial are more likely to present with seizure. Neurologic deficit from hemorrhage 20 to 25%. Infratentrial is more likely to have neurological deficit. Demographic around 0.6% prevalent in all children undergoing brain MR. 0.2 percent in pain increase with age, around 70 percent solitary, 30 percent multiple, multiple and typical familial or radiation induced. Supratentrial, modern infratentrial, and spinal cord vary in size from microscopic to giant more than 6 cm. CT hyperdentalism and plus minor calcifying 50 percent are not visible. Visible. Um, uh, heterogeneous core with G2 hypoantenna rim. Popcorn ball apparent with internal fluid with lava. Adjacent increased flare signal suggests recent embryo. SWI G2 star. GOE is more sensitive for our research. Absent or minimal enhancement except for associated development of venous and moly. Non contrastion in CT in a one year old patient with poor seizure, so heterogeneous eye attenuation in the right frontal lobe with low attenuation, deep to lesion. G1 in the live image and G1 plus in the right image of Omar. In the same patient demonstrate initially high signal in the lesion. There are multiple small vessels along the media margin collapsing into a drainage and draining vein. Consistent with the developmental venous anomaly, developmental venous anomaly are found in around 25% of cavernous malformation. Non contrastion and CT demonstrate a large cavernous malformation in the teenager with multiple family CM. While most of the lesions of the attenuation of the hemorrhage, some pussy serve attenuation of classification, typical of cavernous malformation. Clear MI in the same patient, so reticulate hyperintense signal in the form of the lesion with hyperintense hemosiderin rim surrounding the lesion. Despite its large size and heterogeneity, there is no surrounding vasogenic edema, which would be expected in nearly any other lesion. Man enhanced CT of the governance malformation, so the hyper then, lesion in lab internal capsule. T2 on mass of a giant governance malformation in Jiang Cha. Note the fluid fluid level that confirm blood field, governance, govern, or looking. Total removal via micro surgery. She called resection. This is for surgery involved waging risk for 
hemorrhage against such a chorus. Gamma knife, radio surgery for non resectable lesion is contravest. So, if DVA is present, venous drainage should be preserved. Thank you.